Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Xiao Zan appears at the 2024 National Excellent Film Promotion Conference. It also appeared on the big screen with domineering power and sold well at the box office. Recently, at the 2024 National Excellent Film Promotion Conference, the new movie The Legend of the Condor Hero starring young actors Xiao Zan and Zhang Dafei was unveiled. Not only that, it was also on the big screen. Xiao Zan's name is on the list, and the audience's expectations for this movie are very high. It is worth mentioning that more than 200,000 viewers have made online reservations for this movie. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Once it is released, it is destined to be a box office hit. There is no doubt about this. It is reported that young actor Xiao Zan will appear at the 2024 National Outstanding Film Promotion Conference. Xiao Zun's domineering appearance on the big screen relies on the new movie The Legend of the Condor Hero starring in it. It can be said that it has attracted global attention. Everyone is always paying attention to the trends of this movie in hopes to release it as soon as possible. It is no exaggeration to say that The Legend of the Condor Heroes will definitely achieve great box office revenue after its release. Xiao Zun has a strong appeal, not to mention that this movie has many charm points. Judging from the response from fans, everyone said that needless to say, they have been looking forward to it. As long as it is released, they will definitely go to the cinema with their relatives and friends to support it. This is an agreement. No matter when it is released, the attitude will never change. For Xiao Zan, Xiao Zan is a capable actor with a clear conscience. Xiao Zan's acting skills, status, quality and other aspects are first rate, which is why he can get so much love and support. In short, I wish Xiao Zan the best and will continue to look forward to and support Xiao Zan. Today, Xiao Zan's acting career is going very smoothly. It can be said that it is blooming more. There are many good news in endorsement business, stage festivals, film and television dramas, etc. I hope Xiao Zan will stay firm, never forget his original intention, and continue to bring good works to the audience. The National Film Fair was held in Zhengqin, Guangzhou. More than 160 new films were unveiled. Xiao Zan's version of The Legend of the Condor Heroes is expected to be released in the summer. On April 10, the National Film, Guangzhou, Fair and the 25th National Excellent Film Promotion Conference were held in Guangzhou held in Zhengchen. As the first film industry conference in 2024, the conference is regarded as the barometer and wind vane of the film market this year. On that day, more than 260 film production, distribution, projection and technical equipment, Film and television investment companies across the country, the Hong Kong Film Production and Distribution Association, the Macau Film Industry Association and 28 provincial level industry associations in the mainland participated in the meeting, and more than 160 films were promoted in the roadshow. The National Film, Guangzhou, Fair and the 25th National Excellent Film Promotion Conference are hosted by the China Film Distribution and Exhibition Association, the China Film Producers Association and the National Cinema Lines, and hosted by the Pearl River Film Group Company, Limited. More than 140 new films are scheduled for major schedules during the year. At the promotion conference, more than 140 films presented by production and distribution companies such as China Film, China Film, Maoan, Alibaba, Wanda, Zinli, Huas, Bona and other production and distribution companies will be unveiled in advance for major schedules during the year. The May Day programs that will meet the audience include Peacekeeping Riot Squad, Journey Across the Moon, Nothing That Can't Be Solved by a Hot Pot, Thelma and Louise, The Siege of Kowloon Walled City and the Pig Man Movie Interstellar Action and other 11 films. Among them, the film Nothing That Can't Be Solved by a Hot Pot was jointly recommended by director Ding Sheng and starring Yu Jin. Director Ding Sheng revealed that the film type is suspense plus comedy and hopes to bring a novel and interesting movie-watching experience to the audience. Films such as Customs Front, White Snake, The Floating Life and I Don't Want to Be Friends With You are scheduled for summer release. In addition, The Legend of the Condor Heroes, the greatest hero directed by Sui Hark and starring Xiao Zan, the suspense film Jiang Giren Lane directed by Chen Kexin and starring Zhang Ziyi, the spy film Decryption directed by Chen Sichen and starring Liu Horan, produced by Liu Heping, the war film Reinforcements Arrive Tomorrow directed by Zhang Yang and starring Yu Hui, Yang Yang and others and the disaster drama Safety In and Out directed by Liu Jiang Jiang and starring Xiao Yang are also expected to be released during this period. Volunteers, Heroes Attack 2 is scheduled to be released on National Day this year.
Tang Jili directed and wrote the fantasy adventure action film legend starring Jackie Chan, Zhang Yixin and others, the costume war film Gate of the Sand Sea directed by Wu Yaoyan and starring Deng Zhao, and the fantasy action film The Stranger directed by Wu Urshan and starring Hu Zhangxu. Big budget films such as Part 2 are now in post production and are scheduled to be released within the year. In terms of imported films, a number of widely anticipated films such as Rise of the Planet of the Apes, New World, Inside Out 2, and Dreamin, Nabata Symphony of the Earth are expected to be released to audiences within the year. Han Ziyatli, president of the China Film Distribution and Exhibition Association, said that the National Outstanding Film Promotion Conference has become an important window for both inside and outside the industry to observe the film market, and it is also a centralized display of the achievements of current film works. The performance of the film market this year has shown a good trend of steady improvement and continued improvement. As long as the film creation, production, promotion and exhibition companies unite and work together, and the industry and outside the industry sincerely join hands and cooperate closely, the film market will definitely become more prosperous. Fire 25 film projects held investment and financing roadshows at the trade fair. Poly Pictures, Bona Pictures, was how publishing media company, Limited, Shianchen Film Studio, Hanzhou Fairy Tale King Film and Television Company, Limited and other producers brought 25 incubated film projects, including Operation Macau, Kashmir Princess, We Are Young in 1950, Winter Pasture, Song of Love, Happy Events in Bazaar, Pipillo and Luzixi, The Injustice, etc. A group of powerful film companies and industrial investment fund companies interested in participating in the project conducted docking negotiations after the road show. On the same day, the conference organizers China Film Distribution and Exhibition Association and China Film Producers Association, and the organizers Huji Ang Film Group Company, Limited jointly issued the investment and financing initiative to promote high-quality development of the film industry in conjunction with the Hong Kong Film Production and Distribution Association and the Macau Film Industry Association. Comma advocating that major enterprises and financial institutions actively pay attention to and invest in movies to further activate new productive forces in the film industry, continuously strengthen the professionalization, standardization, and refinement of film project operations, and promote the two-way flow of high-quality projects and high-quality capital, jointly build an efficient a standardized and fair competition film market environment will work together to promote the high-quality development of the film industry. Jiao Huangfen, president of the China Film Producers Association, said that this conference has established a good platform for enhancing exchanges, promoting transactions, and promoting collaboration within and outside the industry. More companies and society are paying attention to the film industry. The upper, middle and lower reaches of the film industry will work together to tell Chinese film stories, further improve the industrial structure, improve the film industry system, standardize and purify the market ecology and Chinese films will surely be of high quality. On the road to development, we have reached a new level. The latest achievements in domestic film technology and equipment were released. The technical equipment display area at the conference focused on a batch of the latest achievements in the development of domestic film technology and equipment, including LED movie screens. It is reported that the LED movie screen used in the main venue this time is a 14-meter Cinity LED, which performs well in contrast, color, refresh rate, and HDR adjustment. Li Shuping, chief technical expert of China Film Company, Limited, explained to the participants the application and development of LED display technology and movie projections, and revealed the research and implementation process of localization of LED movie screens. The Beacom Research Institute released the Changing Trends in Audiences Ticket Purchase Decisions Report, which analyzes audiences' movie-watching decisions and changes in movie-watching habits from multiple dimensions, providing a reference for the selection of film shooting themes, the choice of film promotion methods, and the basis for theater scheduling. Z.H.I. Fina, a professor at the China Academy of Arts, said in her keynote sharing that the film industry ecology is gradually improving and future development still requires continued in-depth reform and innovation to boost theater operating vitality, increase film market returns, enhance audience viewing experience, and vigorously promote the industry and the process of marketization, industrialization and digitalization. The entire industry must jointly explore a development path for the socialist film industry with Chinese characteristics that suits China's national conditions during the conference. A number of special activities such as the recruitment and investment matchmaking meeting for key film projects in Guangdong were also held.
Ang Guangdong Films made many appearances in promotion and trading sessions. Among them, recommended films such as The Lady of Kiao, Lei Fu Hotel, and The Pig Man Movie, Interstellar Action are highly anticipated. Film projects such as Sanshu Daughter Red Scarf, High Stake Lion Girl, Operation Macau and Falling into the World have won the focus of investment institutions. In recent years, Guangdong's film box office has continued to lead the national film market, and Guangdong has frequently produced excellent films. The good performance of Guangdong's film industry is inseparable from the efforts of various regions in Guangdong in building a good film ecosystem. Since the beginning of this year, Guangdong has implemented an in-depth support plan for literary and artistic creations, and plans to allocate 250 million yuan to support and reward various areas of the entire film industry chain. The Guangdong Film Bureau has set up a key film project library and plans to invest 100 million yuan to fund a batch of outstanding film works, and to create a support system with full field coordination, full life cycle support, full element allocation, full chain development, and all-round promotion. Guangzhou City promulgated the Guangzhou City regulations on supporting the development of the film industry in March this year, providing full coverage of the film industry chain. Zhengzhen District of Guangzhou City recently issued the Zhengzhen District Provisions on Promoting the Development of the Film and Television Industry, Revised Edition, to provide active support for film companies in investment, film and television production, film and television shooting, creation of outstanding film and television works, and talent introduction. At present, Zhengzhen District has successfully hosted a number of film industry summits and blockbuster Chinese film events and attracted more than 500 film and television companies to settle there. Wang Chulin, chairman of the Guangdong Filmmakers Association, secretary of the party committee and chairman of the Pearl River Film Group, said that Guangdong has become a hot land in Highland for the development of China's film industry. It has an excellent natural and social environment and various supporting systems are relatively complete. We sincerely welcome domestic and foreign film companies come to Guangdong to invest, develop, and cooperate in film production to jointly promote the high-quality development of the film industry. Du Xinxin, member of the Standing Committee of the Guangzhou Municipal Committee of the Communist Party of China and Minister of the Propaganda Department, said that Guangzhou has always been one of the cities with the most active film creation and the most prosperous market in China. Various support policies provide all-round services, full-chain support, and all-factor guarantees for film creation in Guangzhou. Kama eagerly looking forward to strengthening cooperation with all parties and jointly writing a new chapter in the high quality development of films in the Greater Bay Area. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.